Hi guys, good news. We've got another washing machine to pick up temporarily. Something free and something that needs just a minor repair to it. So let's go and get this machine and see what it's all about. And you're watching Florence Ballard A3060 on film. a bit of a rough wrong like that was. Well, that was a weird route it took me, but nonetheless, we're actually right outside the house. Okay. And it was like they had a parking spot just for me. Right, so let's go and get this machine. I wonder what this is. Well, you've already seen from the thumbnail, obviously, what it is. But, uh, yeah. Nice machine. A sill tub model, I think it is. Oh no, let's have a look. Get her out. Right, so we fold this down. Oh well. Wow. Didn't even sit on that all. Unfortunately, I didn't um, film getting the machine. in the car because it was a bit of a hurry. We also pulled over at the wrong address and I went knocked on the wrong door and thankfully they didn't answer it. It was door number 122 and I thought I went on 112. Right, let's get this thing out in one piece. I am amazed at how, like, these are quite big machines. Oh yeah. Let's get this key strip off before that snaps in half. That's what I could hear. Ooh. Partially bent the kick strip really. Right it's fine though. Tiny bit of rust on it, but it's something we could just really leave. Maybe just a quick spray under that. Kick strip hides most of it, so a bit dirty though. Mum's about to go out as well. Yeah, it's a hot point. In the set. Ready? Yeah, it's a hot point. So we're having like a little, well, I say clean up session here, but this machine is like immaculate. Um, this is the drawer. Um, so that, look, I have a feeling this would have had a liquid dispenser, but it's probably lost it. But I've not heard that before. A little click and a little like tab there. I pulled that out, even using the drawer. The whole area is just a tiny bit there, but maybe they've been putting all their detergent in the drum or something. So we can sort of put that there. Door doesn't bounce on the hinge. The 
you know, a bit of standing water and seal, but not really any mold. It's got this drum with the thick band here. So yeah, one paddle missing. Uh, now, I was listening to this. I don't know if the bearings might be on the way out on this. We'll have to see. Um, I think it's an inverter motor this has got because I can't hear anything else. I've got one paddle missing there and one there. I've got two to fit in there. Ugh, there's water in that. But yeah. Deflector. Looks like it's had a gash on the glass there at some point. But it's really clean. Oh, here's the serial number if anyone wants that. Indusut Company Spa. 5092196. So yeah, it's a nine kilo model, although I've been told that might be a different drum. WMXTF942, presumably 1400 spin. I wonder if this lights up, this dial. But like, immaculate. Spin time name. There's a bit of dirt around the edge that I've sort of pulled out there and whatnot. The plug was clean. Um, I was laughing about what the guy's done with the... He's <laughs> taped that up and put the drain hose holder on to, to the hose. But it has got a drain hose there. So I guess I'll fit those new paddles and then see what happens. Let's do a quick repair on the machine. So I'm sure many of you have seen the tutorial videos Oh, they're not 180 degree door opening either on these. So all we need to do is, when the paddle slots on, so this is the 12 hole paddle, so there's 12 holes. What we need to do is, uh, this one luckily has got both of the tabs in place. If they weren't in place, like the um, NSWR model that I once found, um, you basically cannot fit the, ta the tabs back. Uh, you've not built the paddle back. So we got to do, it's a bit awkward trying to get in because this uh, unfortunately doesn't open up. It doesn't open up fully. So, tab pops out that way. So you've got to get screwdriver underneath and raise it up slightly. one up and I'll do the other one too. Annoyingly um, this wasn't the first choice of machine I had for free. In Sunbury there was a WD860 in polar white. Again it needed one paddle replacing it had the original blue WA ones. Second I went to ask about it it had been sold so it's a shame because I actually would have preferred that but however it'd be nice to experience one of these. Uh, and it's a washing machine only, not a washer dryer. I mean, I love washer dryers, don't get me wrong, but they're a nightmare to film because they, they take longer. So these have to slot on, like so. And then. You know what, I always say these never feel like they're I never feel like they're on properly. It's quite worrying actually. That it has to latch onto something under. I don't know exactly know what. But. So locate it in. I mean, you could have a two battle machine if you wanted. Half of a Maloney. That's why I do prefer machines with metal paddles. That's it. So, can they all come off like that? No, see, that one doesn't come off. So. Oh, we might need to push it back down. Right, let's have a look. I think it's got to be a bit of an angle. Yeah. 
how some people in videos refer to it as a, as a plastic tab. Like, no, it's not plastic, mate, it's metal. That's it. So the panel can go in any direction. And that that felt a bit more firmer that did now. That one. Yeah, that's better. Funny how the new ones feel more like sandy and rough and it's all ones more glossy plastic unless it's a model design they used or whatever um well, i think we should plug it in for a spin i was never gonna put on test spin look at this do do d on uh what do we want program oh we got the drain symbol what's it spin 1400 yes Let's test the suspension as well. Wow, a big, a big drum that's got. Anti clockwise spinner alert. It's got bearings, I won't bother with them, I'll just flog the machine off for like a tenner or so. Probably do a bit more than that. I like I haven't leveled the machine. No, I'll we'll shake a little bit. Oh! This has got a very flimsy cabinet to it. Oh, it looks like the drums bang the casing a few times on this. The suspension is more solid on this though. What happened? Did you do something? 15 minute spin. Ready for a maintenance wash. I've got sparkling clean washing machine cleaner. on the dishwasher tablet. That usually does the job. Um, I need a bit of bleach in the seal maybe. TV and a radio. Do do do. Bit of a cocktail stuck in there but this will just sit in the seal maybe on the door. Bit of sealing the door seal just to kill some of the. So, what have we got on here? We've got timings as well. So, I don't want to do white 60 because that's going to be a while. How long is white 60? Three hours? No! It's really cotton standard 60. Bloody hell. I don't want to do fast wash 60 again. What about synthetic 60? Ah, hour 55, a bit better. Okay. What's the spin? 800, that's fine. I'll let everyone else. 60. 60, yeah. It doesn't need a 90 because it's not that dirty. We'll go with that. Oh, we've got, oh, we have got the time saver on it. Okay, hang on. How, in that case then. Oh, can't use it. What about cotton standard? Hour and 45, that's fine, that's a bit better. Cotton standard 60. Um, spin, I'll bring it down to a thousand. Yeah, and then go. Check it fills okay. Three. Stop. 
Oh, oh I know what it's doing. From the sun. I wanted this to have a similar program to the hot point style that I had. Just sample that. Trouble is though, it doesn't really sound like the bearings have gone on this. It's more just the I know that the inverter models have always had a rumble, so I want to get that up to like a thousand. Hair is pressing. Shush. Jesus. There, it fills the sump and then we go on. So nice and clean. Kick strip, just give that a clean and hot stairs in the shower. Uh, it heats up very quickly. I don't know what the wattage of the heating element is. But yeah, that'll die down once we hit a temperature. That's just bleach. Detergent, um, probably detergent residue in there as well. But it's, uh, I don't know if I can really show it. It's got like an instant reverse. See? One, two, three. All right, end of cycle. <laughs> nice and clean. Oh, just a bit of. Mm, okay. So yeah, if you listen, unfortunately, there's a slight problem with the bearings. It's not actually that bad. It, I, I let it get to 1400, um, and it didn't really sound that bad at all. But however, this is a sealed tub model. So if anything happens, uh, it's unfortunately a loss. However, I got the machine for free. So I'll see how it goes. If it's still bad, still bad after I've done many cycles uh, or it gets worse then yeah she might unfortunately have to go but if not um, might better sell the machine for a little bit I mean minimal now is 60 pound or 50 pound profit but we'll see thank you much for watching guys and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow